Hey guys, it's ASD here for Darkspace. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install Kali Linux on a virtual box. For this installation purposes, I'm going to use Oracle Virtual Box. I have Oracle VM Virtual Manager already installed in my computer. For your download and installation purposes, I'm going to drop the link on my first comment and the description. After you install Oracle Virtual Box, you will see such an interface. On this interface, select New. And on the name tab, I'm going to type Kali Linux. You can choose any name for your VDI file. And you will notice after I type Kali Linux, it will automatically change the type and the version. And it's going to be a 64 bit installation. And for the memory size, I'm going to you change it for 248, which is equal to 2 GB for better performance and you will notice the location of the VDI file and I'm gonna change the file size to 20 GB and keep um, the other settings default and here you notice uh, the VDI file is already created after that go to settings go to storage and select empty and on IDI secondary master I'm gonna choose the OS file. I've already downloaded the ISO image so I'm gonna select the ISO image which I've already downloaded. Hit OK and hit start. And you will notice the interface is pretty smaller so for that go to settings, go to display and I'm gonna change the scale factor to 200 percentage so it's better to weave and on this interface I'm gonna select install and I'm gonna leave all these settings default you can change the language and um, the location according to your preference this going to be a real time uh, installation process so under the host name I'm gonna name it as dark space you can use any host name and uh, navigate to continue and hit enter and for the domain name I'm gonna leave it blank and you definitely need to set a root password and make sure you don't forget this root password hit continue retype your password again for the verification factor I'm gonna leave all those settings default you can change them according to your preferences so here I'm gonna use the entire disk if you want you can use a logical volume to um, increase the storage so here I'm gonna leave all the settings default and finish the partition write changes and here click yes and now you will notice the installation has begun and if you need a um, the ISO image for this installation I'm gonna drop a link to download Kali Linux ISO image on my first comment and the description feel free to download so this installation process will last for 12 to 15 minutes roughly depends on your computer's performance so while the installation process is going on I would like to go over some important settings that you should be aware on Oracle VirtualBox 
So for that, select settings. And under general tab, you can see some advanced settings available to play around with. The system which shows the system configurations and display storage and under network you will notice that I have selected NAT. NAT refers to network address translator so with NAT I will have access to internet through my virtual box So this installation will take roughly around 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to fast forward this video to save your time. So now you'll notice that installation process is almost completed. And we had to configure the package manager. So I'm going to use a network mirror and leave the HTTP proxy default now it's configuring the files You will see this blue screen while the installation process is going on. There's nothing to panic, it's just its interface. And the process is running in the background. And now you will notice it's installing Grub Bootloader. Grub is a bootloader package from GNU project which provides users to choice to boot one of multiple operating systems. So install grub, select the device or the partition, so now we are at the final step of the installation process. You will see it's configuring VirtualBox guest DKMS. So at this point, it's configuring all its DMS files. So after the drivers are updated, it will finish the installation process. So when the installation process is completed, click continue. And now you will notice it's removing the live packages from your virtual box, which means it's removing the live ISO image that you use to install Kali Linux on this virtual box. So after it removes the live image from your virtual box, when you restart it, it's gonna reboot using the VDI file where you install Kali Linux on your virtual box. After this process is completed, it will automatically restart. So be patient for a couple of minutes. Now you notice it's rebooting.
So after the booting process is done, you will see this interface where you have to enter your username. So I have only one user, root. I'm going to enter root and my password for the root. If you have set up another user, you will have a couple of user options. So this is how the Kali Linux interface looks like. So now when you drag and stretch the window, you will notice that its display automatically get resolved. And these are some application tools available under Kali Linux. Most of these tools are used for hacking purposes. These are some advanced tools comes built in with Kali Linux and that's how the Kali Linux installation process goes on so to check your internet connection is working open Firefox you will see the official HTML page and then open terminal type ping space 1.1.1.1 and hit enter and then you will notice that this machine is receiving signals so do a control C to quit it and type exit and exit from the terminal and now you have internet connection on this virtual box and you can use it for any hacking purposes so thank you for watching my video guys I hope you really enjoy this and don't forget to like my video, comment if you have any questions, I will reply as soon as possible. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell button for regular updates. Thank you again for watching this video. I will see you back on my next video. Till then, peace out. Have a nice day.